Hey friends, I'm back today with another super, super indie niche house. That is a dupe house and it's called Andromeda's Moon. And I was afraid that I was gonna trip over my words, which I just did. I was afraid I was gonna trip over my words because for some reason, Andromeda is a difficult, it's difficult for me to spit out. So yes, Andromeda's Moon. So they make dupes or inspired by fragrances of so many fragrances and they're constantly coming out with more new fragrances. I don't know how they do it, but the list was so crazy long and they had dupes of like super niche stuff. So I have a ton of samples here and I wanted to share my opinions. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is their version of Gentle Fluidity Gold. So right off the top, I almost get like a, like a citrusy note, almost like clementine because it's not citrus tart, but it's citrus with a little sweetness. And then as it dries down, I'm getting like a sugary vanilla and it's got this warmth to it, which I'm sure is from the vanilla. And the longevity of this one is fantastic. Mind you, I had just sprayed like a little tiny bit on my wrist and it was like six hours later and it was still vibrant. So if you guys like kind of a sweet uh, vanilla fragrance, that one was so, so good. So if you guys saw my video last week, I talked about Juliet Has A Gun fragrances. And so this one is their version of Pear Ink. And as I said, Pear Ink does not last. Um, it is so good, it smells delicious, but unfortunately, you know, it's like, what, 135 or something close to that? So to me, this smells a lot like Pear Ink, but it's almost like Pear Ink and Lilabo, another 13, had a baby. It's got almost like a clean laundry type scent to it, and it's got that juicy pear and musk combination. And so I don't find it to be quite as sweet, but a little bit more fresh than the original, which that's still a very fresh fragrance, but this almost has something detergent-like about it, which if you guys have seen my videos, that is so me. Anything that smells like clean laundry, sign me up. But then you take an added note of fruitiness. That's how I could describe it. This one is their version of Angel Share. So this has, almost like a slightly spicy cinnamon note to it, but then smells like, like, a, like an apple booze or something. And then it, it has almost like a slight woodiness in the base. So I think that this would be better suited for like fall winter time as it has this like warmth and slightly like alcoholic nature to it but then it is freshened up with that like sweet appleiness to it. So I really enjoy this one, but I think that it'll fare better in the cold weather. So this is their version of Acro Awake. And I love Acro Awake. That smells like freshly brewed coffee. It's like photorealistic coffee. And I would say that this is close, but this almost has like freshly brewed cappuccino vibes. It's slightly sweeter than the original. And I think Acro goes for like 160, so this is definitely a better option. But oh my God, I, the chokehold that coffee scents have on me is unreal. Like if you, if you love that smell, like when you walk into Starbucks and you can smell a brew, going on or like you love to wake up to that smell in the morning. This has an energizing feel to it. But like I said, this almost has a little bit more of a vanillic undertone than the original. Next is their version of Mango Skin. So this has a, it, it smells juicy, but it also smells green. So there's almost like a pine-like quality. I've always felt like, like a mango, if it's not fully, fully, fully ripe, if not even overly ripe, it still has some greenness to the skin, 
almost has that pine needle type quality to it. So you smell this and you smell the sweetness, but you also smell that greenness to it. And I find this to be slightly more musky than the original. So it smells like the original. If you haven't smelled that before, it smells like a green mango. So sweet, a little green, a little pine, and then has a nice muskiness to it, which that one is quite expensive and the longevity is not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. So I would opt for this hands down. Next is their version of MFK's Grand Soir. So in the original, that is an amber, vanilla, benzoin type fragrance. And I'm smelling this one and I can't recall off the top of my head if the original also has this, but as I'm smelling this, to me, this has something spicy in the beginning. Not quite a pepper, not quite a cumin, and it might be coming from like a tonka bean a little bit. But to me, there's almost like that, and I hate to say it like this, but like, you ever get it where it's slightly like body odor? Like that spicy smell? Not in a bad way, not dirty. Um, but yeah, there's something a little spicy to it. But I wore this on skin. The dry down is very intimate. It's definitely not a projection monster. But it smells nice. I just don't know if I love the opening of that one. So if you don't mind a slightly spicy note, it does fade pretty quickly. The dry down is nice. It's just, it, it's a soft scent. So if you're looking for something gentle, vanillic, a little bit tonka bean, ambery, this would be a good bet. Next is their version of Greenwich Village. Oh my God, okay. So, I have not smelled the original Greenwich Village. Gre is it Greenwich or Greenwich? It's, I mean, it's spelled green witch, but I feel like it's Greenwich. I don't, can someone tell me that please? But okay. To me, Greenwich Village, their version, literally smells like Garnier Fructis hair products. And I can remember when the switch was made from like Suave to Garnier and I felt like that stuff was so fancy. And so I just, I associate this memory with cleanness, um, with my hair smelling good, like after school, taking a shower, so this is a very fresh fragrance, but it's interesting because that's how it opens, but it dries down completely different. So it starts to warm up to the skin. It's got like a little bit of a green note to it, but not a lot. Don't let that scare you because personally, I don't like green fragrances that much. Oh my God, but this is just, it's shower clean. So if you like showery, soapy, shampooy, fruity type scents, you should try this. Although, I'll say, as I'm smelling this off the card right now, it's kind of drying down to have like an almondy feel to it, like a sweet almond oil. Yeah, it's drying down much more gourmand. That's a weird, this one, she does a nice, uh, nice little transitional act. Interesting, I'll have to try this on skin more. I only tried it one time on the skin. But uh, yeah, I like this one. She's a weirdo, I like it. And last but not least is a fragrance that I used to wear and that is inspired by Glossier You. And this is the type of fragrance that if you like Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, dead cool milk, something that is musky, skin-like, uh, makes you smell like hot person, but doesn't necessarily smell like perfume. It is an ambroxan heavy fragrance. So for some people, I will warn you that the original and this one, some people can't smell it, which I find really weird because I can smell it and it makes me feral. Like it's so good. So this one is really great. If you work in an office, you need something that doesn't really smell like perfume. It just smells like you smell really fresh and clean, but it has this beautiful musky undertone. It's not too sweet. It's not too dry or woody. It's simple, 
yet very effective. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Andromeda's Moon. As I said, they're a super duper tiny indie house. Um, that's why I wanted to feature them because I'm like, okay, that's cool. I saw, um, if you guys are on TikTok, which by the way, I am on TikTok and on Instagram under the same name. And I've been really enjoying myself over there, but there is an account called Smelly Hose Only. <laughs> and I love this girl, she's so funny. And I saw her using Andromeda's Moon stuff over and over and I was like, what is that? So I reached out, they gave me some fragrances and when I'm telling you the rap sheet that they had to pick off of, I was blown away. I was like, how do you have that? How are you like a small, small niche indie brand, but you have like, so freaking many to choose from. So if you're looking for something very specific, but you're not trying to pay the full price for it, check out Andromeda's Moon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to my next video. And until then, bye.